Hey, what's up everybody? Josh. And Alicia. Here with Terra Drift, and today we're talking about hiking sandals. As you can probably tell. Personally, I love hiking sandals. I do not like for my feet to be hot and sweaty and shoved into a shoe. So if it's even moderately warm outside, chances are I'm gonna be hiking or adventuring, sometimes even cycling. Uh, in sandals. So I love a good adventure sandal. For me personally, I most of the time like to wear a shoe, but if I'm hitting the trail and I'm expecting to be crossing water or I'm going to a waterhole or something like that, I definitely like me some sandals. So we want to round up for you some of the best of the best hiking and adventure sandals this season. Um, we've tested all of these, sorry in advance that some of them are a little dirty. That's how you know we tested them. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of each one and why they're different and why it matters and which ones might be the right ones for you and your feet, because feet are different. Feet are different. Let's start with a bedrock sandal. Honestly, the bedrocks may be the closest thing to a Goldilocks hiking sandal that exists. They feature aggressive tread with really deep lugs, um, a sole that performs on wet and dry terrain, and they're highly adjustable while still being fairly light and packable and minimalist. These have frequently been our go-to sandals when we only pack one pair of sandals. True story. That said, I don't love the sturdy thong bit, you know, that that goes in between your toes. Uh, yeah, it helps the sandals feel super secure on your feet, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get them to stop irritating that spot between my toes. Maybe my toes are too short? I don't know. <laughs> now, that's largely a personal problem. Like I said, they're adjustable at three points, one on the inside of your foot, one here the easy adjustment point on the outside and on the back so you can really dial in the perfect fit that may take a little time um, to get it just right but once you do they're a very versatile piece of footwear that's pretty flexible they're not barefoot but they're minimalist so that's cool they are a bit wide though so if you have narrow feet Eh, might not be the perfect fit for you. But overall, these sandals are great. They do it all, plus are pretty durable and sustainable. Yeah. Bedrock offers a rock solid warranty that lasts for the life of the soles and they have a repair program so you can fix your kicks instead of replacing them because the soles are resolable and the straps are replaceable. So win. Now let's talk about our next sandal, Chaco. Now, you're probably familiar with them. They were our first pair of hiking sandals, mm -hmm. so we have a soft spot for them. Why? Because they're sturdy, durable, and you can customize the fit. The straps are all interconnected throughout the footbed, so you can loosen and tighten all of them to really dial in the perfect fit, which is very handy. There are a few different styles of this flagship Z sandal, including a few with toe loops. I like it without, but that's just me. Now, Chacos are really dense and rugged, but that means they're not very lightweight. Uh, they can handle a lot of rugged terrain without causing a lot of foot fatigue, but they are hefty. They're also very supportive. They've got some serious arch support and are really designed to cradle your foot. Whether that's a good thing depends on your preferences. Like I'm more into barefoot sandals personally, so Chacos really feel hefty and clunky on my feet and they're not as easily packable and I do like to pack light. But like I said, they can handle any type of terrain, rocks, dirt, mud, asphalt, you name it without having to be so aware of where you're planting your feet. Yeah. Plus the sandal webbing material, the, um, the the strapping here, is now made out of recycled plastic bottles. Uh, plus Chaco offers a repair, rewear, re-Chaco program to fix or replace worn or damaged soles webbing, stuff like that. I even had my soles replaced just last summer. I've had these sandals since what, like 2013? 2014, it's I think? It's been a minute. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I think that alone is a testament to their durability. They were the only ones I wore for a very long time. All right, so let's move on to the Shama sandals. These are the Trail Stars Omega. Now, these babies are designed and made in the U.S., and most of the materials are also sourced from the U.S., so that's cool. They're a little little cottage brand. They offer a repair and replacement program to cut down on waste and extend the life of their sandals, which also cuts down on waste. Right. 
but also the use of virgin materials. Plus they do sell used sandals if they can, instead of just throwing them out if they're returned. So that also reduces wastes. And provides a more budget-friendly option for customers, which is really nice. For sure. They have several lines of sandals actually, but I liked the Trail Stars because they're part of Shama's performance line as in they're designed for hiking. They're also vegan, this specific line of sandals. Some of them have leather, but the Trail Stars Omega do not. Uh, they offer a fair amount of protection um, from hiking. They're a little thicker than say a barefoot style shoe, but more flexible than say the Bedrocks, uh, making them a really good middle of the road sandal. They also have a thinner, more barefoot style sole if you're more into that. That sole is about nine millimeters, whereas this one I think is around 11 or 12. I found them comfortable, not quite as barefoot as I tend to like, so maybe I should have gotten the, the thinner soles, mm. um, but they still are very flexible. And with the toe loop here are really supportive, really keep your foot locked in because they're narrower and I have a very narrow foot. Like I did not feel like my foot was sliding around like at all. And I hiked on these, I got them wet. Um, even when I was like walking through the water, they were, they stayed put on my feet. They didn't feel like they were stretching out or getting slippery or anything, so. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I just hiked all over Michigan in these and I. <laughs> so how did you feel about the toe loop on these? The toe loop is a hit or miss for me. Apparently I'm, I grew up wearing flip flops, but at this point, I don't know if I like things in between my toes that much. Uh, um, because mm -hmm. the, the bedrocks will irritate me at, you know, eventually. And these eventually sort of like started getting on my nerves. Just, just the toe loop bit, which I did, you know, like I could put down and put my toe on top of, but that's not as secure, obviously. So um, if you hate things in between your toes, these probably won't be for you, but they were very secure and flexible and really easily packable and lightweight, so. Cool, yeah. Also a very cool, like cottage brand sandal. And I know these have Vibram soles on them. So how did those perform? They were, they were quite grippy. Like I was not worried about slipping around on rocks when we were hiking. Cool, yeah. Next up, the classic Teva. And yes, you heard me right. It's Teva, not Teva. The more you know. This one is another very popular adventure sandal that tons of people love mm -hmm. and for good reason. They're comfortable. The style has absolutely made a comeback mm -hmm. from being like the 90s dad sandal, <laughs> you know? Um, and they're they're a pretty solid do everything sandal. We have the Hurricane XLT2 and the Universal Trail sandals here. Both are made out of partially recycled mm -hmm. materials. The straps are Reprieve, which is made of recycled bottles, mm. and these are recyclable, which is huge. You do have to send them in to Teva to be recycled. Uh, you can't just throw them in your curbside bin, but they work with recycling brand TerraCycle to turn sandal materials into stuff like running tracks, um, playgrounds, and, and more. So that's pretty rad. They're also working on creating new sandals out of materials from old sandals. So. That's gonna be real exciting when that happens. That's circularity and it's a huge deal when it comes to reducing waste and eliminating the need to create new virgin materials. Now, when I first discovered Teva's as a teenager, it was the, the flip flops and I was just like blown away by how cushy sandals oh, yeah. could be. <laughs> <laughs> they were so, so soft. Stupid, squishy and comfortable. Yeah. Um, and so I'd say that these, um, Universal Trails have some of that. They're they're really quite squishy and comfortable. They're still pretty flexible. Mm -hmm. um, they they have arch support, which a lot of people like. For someone who prefers barefoot style shoes most of the time, I don't hate these. They're still pretty light, um, and because they're squishy, like it feels nicer than wearing like a big clunky heavy shoe. I think plus it's it's just nice to wear. How how did you feel with your hurricanes? Because they're slightly different. Yeah, so these aren't quite as squishy of a footbed, but they're still very soft, and they have a more substantial tread, they do. which makes it perfect for more serious hikes. It does. Like these are these are more gonna be for like day hike type things. Um, they're not as rugged, the, the sole there. That said, I would absolutely take them hiking or kayaking or whatever because they do have, you know, a fair amount of tread there to, to really grip onto mm -hmm. things. One of the things I really like about these sandals is that there is an arch support, but it's subtle. Mm. 
And also the straps are fully adjustable. These are all Velcro adjustments and it really keeps your foot in place when you're going up and down hills where in some other sandals, maybe your foot would slide a lot more. These hold onto your foot really well. The Universal Trail does only have the two adjustable straps on the, the front and the ankle, not the heel. So if you do, if you are kind of in between sizes, um, that that could be an issue if you if you don't size down. You might have to size down mm. if you're in between sizes uh, because you can't adjust that that back loop there. But that said, these sort of have more padding under the strap. So if like blisters are a problem for you sometimes, these might be the way to go because they're they're quite comfy and, and hug your foot and look great at festivals <laughs> and are available in like a ridiculous amount of colors. Zeros. Zeros. These are some of my favorite, um, but we've both tried them. I'm a much larger fan of Bear's Foot style shoes than Josh is though. These Z Trails are like my most frequent go-to sandals for um, hiking, water activities, definitely travel because they weigh nothing. Uh, they look decent with hiking shorts or a casual dress, uh, my opinion, obviously. So I have the more minimalist Z Treks and <laughs> they, they are definitely barefoot sandals. Um, <laughs> they take a lot of getting used to. Shoes that you're coming from, um, that will play a huge role in how long it takes for you to get used to them. When I first started wearing them, any distance that I would walk, um, it just, it would hurt my feet a lot. So if you're going to barefoot sandals, I, my only suggestion would be to take it easy, wear them just long enough until you start to feel a little bit of foot pain and then take them off, come back to them, you know, the next day, kind of work up to it. It's true, barefoot shoes do take a little of a, a break in period, we'll say. But uh, personally, once you get there, I, I love these, my feet are never sore when I'm wearing these. I mean, sometimes less so than in more built up footwear. There's no arch support or cushioning here. And being barefoot sandals, you will feel the ground beneath your feet. So that like Josh was saying, it takes some getting used to, but I actually prefer that. I like being able to feel the ground and, and know where I am. I feel very stable when I'm hiking in barefoot sandals. Yeah, strangely enough, I didn't have as much of a problem on the trail where there was varied terrain, but walking on say a sidewalk or asphalt, uh, actually put a lot more pressure on my feet. So just keep that in mind. Zero also offers a 5,000 mile warranty on their sandals, mm -hmm. which means if you wear out the soles prematurely, they'll repair or replace them for a fraction of the cost of buying a new pair. Bonus, they come with a two year warranty against manufacturer defects. That's a long time in the world of shoes. It really is. And last but not least, we have Astral. Now, if your outdoor adventures tend to involve more water than mountain summits, may we recommend the Astral Weber? Yeah. The straps and webbing on these puppies is made of 100% recycled materials, and the sole is a nice, Grippy, flexible rubber. They're zero drop, which is rad and only important if you're into that sort of thing. They're not super minimalist, but they are minimalist enough to sort of let you still feel the ground. They're still pretty flexible. It's the same footbed as the brand's popular Low Yak shoes, which I have and find very flexible and comfortable. Yeah, the soles are siped because they're made for water-based activities, um, which makes them more secure in shallow water, but they're also really nice on like dry rocks and ground. And these straps, very secure. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid I'm gonna lose a sandal in the drink, yeah. but Speaking of straps, only the front two straps are adjustable, not the heel strap. So getting the right size is extra important with these since you can't tighten or loosen the back piece of the webbing. The buckles are also blue sign approved, which is really interesting. And the sandals do come with a lifetime warranty, so bonus. But like you wore these, so how did you find them? Comfortable? Yeah. So these were very comfortable. So the footbed is kind of foot shaped so it does have a very slight arch to it but not enough that it's really that noticeable there's a Berkey style toe ridge here that kind of helps your foot stay secure in the sandals which is especially nice 
when you're walking in and around water. The straps seem super soft as well. Like they wouldn't rub or irritate you like that much at all. So this is a lot of sandals. How do you choose which one is for you? Cause like I said, feet are all different and your outdoor pursuits may be different from mine. So let's break it down. Break it down. Okay, so zero shoes, zero sandals. Um, these are for people who are either into a barefoot minimalist footwear lifestyle or are interested in getting into it. They're for people who wanna travel fast and really light, um, who want flexible footwear that can do it all, but aren't terribly concerned with something really built up and ultra durable and that can really tackle like rough, rugged terrain. The Astrals are mostly uh, for those who are interested in water-based outdoor pursuits because of that nice siped uh, sole, but they are comfortable enough and contoured enough for every day with a little bit of arch support. Chacos are durable and rugged and can handle whatever terrain you're throwing at them. But the people I think who are going to enjoy the most are those who really want that solid supportive base for their feet. You know, that they don't need a cushy sole. They can just blaze across rocky trails, but also just fits really well. Teva is probably my pick for best all around sandal because it is nice and squishy and they have great options for whatever kind of outdoor pursuit you're pursuing. <laughs> they have so many different options depending on what kind of activity you're going to be doing. The Universal Trail is great for, as its name implies, uh, most trails. And if you need something a little more aggressive, something that's gonna hold up even better, then I would go with the Hurricane with its excellent tread. Plus they're both great lifestyle sandals, honestly. Yeah. Like Teva makes sandals that look good around town too. Yeah, these are great for everyday use as well. For somebody who wants a lightweight, flexible sandal that's still minimalist, but maybe not quite barefoot, I definitely think Shama is the way to go. Um, I love how light and flexible and small they are. You could get them even smaller than this. Uh, they're great for fairly narrow feet. Uh, they're fully adjustable and very secure on your feet with that. Uh, toe loop there, which is really nice. The lugs on the tread aren't as deep, but it's still pretty sticky and they can handle most stuff. These are a winning sandal in my opinion for just like all around kind of stuff. If you want a more rugged upgrade on the Shama sandal, uh, I would say the Bedrocks are a great, um, just like one do it all sandal pick for all manner of adventures. I mean, the, the lugs on the tread are deep, the sandal is secure and the fit really customizable. It is a bit wider, so if you have narrow feet like me, it may not fit as well uh, on your foot. And it's not as flexible or lightweight as say the Zero or the Shama, but this is a very popular sandal for a reason. For a lot of people, I'd say like, if one sandal is it, if you're getting one, like this isn't a bad option. So those are our picks for adventure sandals this year. We hope that we have made it a little easier for you to narrow down which one is gonna be the perfect adventure sandal for you. Or you know, maybe two pairs. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, two pairs, right? So let us know which one is your favorite in the comments below, or if you have any questions about any of these or how they fit or how they performed, happy to answer. Let us know in the comments. And if you want to check these out for yourself, we'll put links in the description below where you yeah, can find them all. But before you go, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video entertaining or helpful in any way, shape, or form. Which I hope you did. And visit us on terradrift.com where you'll find even more great written and video content. And then feel free to watch some more of our videos, which are here, probably partially covering our faces now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But in any case, grab yourself some reliable adventure sandals, hit that trail, and wander on.